aliens, unidentified flying objects, unidentified aerial phenomenon, extraterrestrials. Thoughts of these things have captivated those that dare to look up in the night sky and wonder what's out there. Warning, some might find some of the images, footage, and incidents discussed in this video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. In this video, I will be explaining an iceberg I made and posted to Reddit, detailing a few alien theories, abductions, sightings, and cultural things related to extraterrestrials. Specifically, this iceberg. If you are unfamiliar with iceberg charts, let me explain. It's a chart that covers aspects of a topic or fandom with usually the most well-known things as entries at the tip of the iceberg, with lesser known, more obscure things the further down you go. Iceberg charts can be about games, memes, real world things, anything you can imagine. Iceberg charts don't usually have to go from least to most obscure. They also have other styles such as least to most disturbing. This chart will somewhat go from least to most obscure, but also from least intriguing to most intriguing, with the most intriguing theories and phenomena near the bottom of the iceberg. I'll also be treating everything discussed in this video as a theory or as fiction. And since this is a film channel, I will be using a lot of clips from various science fiction movies and media to keep your eyeballs entertained. May throw in a few gameplay clips here and there. Before we get started, we are going to play a mini game. If you win, you have to go in the comments and tell me about your experience with a UFO or alien encounter. If you lose, you have to subscribe to Film Round Reviews, which will provide you with awesome sci-fi videos uploaded straight into your YouTube feed. Sigourney Weaver is riding in one of these spacecraft, and we need to get her before she destroys the last of the alien eggs. Which one? Left or right? And it's Obi-Wan Starfighter. If you chose the Zillion UFO, congratulations. Go ahead and press that subscriber button. But let's get into our first entry at the tip of the iceberg. Flying Saucer. Flying saucers are the stereotypical spaceship associated with extraterrestrials in popular media. This is because most reported sightings are of them. Flying saucer was one of the main terms used to describe alien aircraft in general, before it was supplanted by the term UFO. LGM. LGM refers to little green men, which is the usual representation of intelligent alien life. They are often depicted with green skin, large eyes, two slits for nostrils, thin limbs, and large brains, or something similar. Little green men aren't really a type of alien reported. It's mostly a pop culture thing, and used to describe aliens in general, especially when mocking someone. Superior technology. This is the idea that extraterrestrials have superior technology to what humans are capable of. This is logically probable, since they are supposedly able to travel the cosmos to Earth and remain mostly undetected. Government cover-up. It's widely accepted that the government knows more about extraterrestrials than they are letting on that they are actively trying to keep things relating to aliens hush-hush for various reasons. This is the basis for the Men in Black movie series. Ancient Aliens. This refers to the idea that aliens have been around since antiquity and helped humanity's development, which was popularized by the show Ancient Aliens on the History Channel. While a lot of people have heard of the show, not everyone has heard of all the things in it. Ancient Aliens is mostly a joke, but some of the things touched on in the show may be on later entries on this list. Area 51. Area 51 is a highly classified U.S. Air Force base in Nevada that some believe might contain evidence of aliens and alien spacecraft, or at least used to, again, covered up by the government. I think we all remember the time the internet collectively decided to storm the facility and discover its secrets and clap alien cheeks. Roswell. Roswell is a city in New Mexico where, 75 miles out, what became known as the Roswell Incident occurred. The official explanation for the incident was that a weather balloon crashed, but many believe that the weather balloon is a cover-up for an actual alien spacecraft. Tractor beams. The tractor, beam is pulling us in. tractor beams are what alien spacecraft used to draw people and things into their ship, usually depicted as a beam of light or an invisible force that cannot be escaped. Now that the really common knowledge about what extraterrestrials are is out of the way, we are below the surface. Weather balloons. This is the idea that most sightings of unidentified flying objects are weather balloons of some sort. This is because of the Roswell incident. 
amphibious. One thing I've noticed that most people don't think about when it comes to the unidentified is them being able to go underwater as well as fly in the sky and through space. It makes sense that they would be able to do so. These are called unidentified submerged objects, or USOs for short. We are not ready for them. This is the proposed explanation as to why governments keep the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrials a secret. The person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. Humanity simply is not ready. Knowledge of aliens could bring about mass feelings of anxiety and dread, lead to panic and the total collapse of social order, so they say. No observable propulsion. Have you, dear viewer, ever noticed that when alien spacecrafts are shown in the media or in actual footage, no exhaust of any kind is usually shown? And when reports are made or sightings are studied, there is almost always no evidence of fuel being used. We can never figure out how these spacecraft move through the air and space. Multiple species. This is the idea that there are multiple types of aliens visiting Earth. After all, why would there just be one kind? Five of the most popular types of aliens are, of course, the little green men used in pop culture, greys, reptilians, mantids, or insectoids, and Nordics, which are aliens that are said to resemble Scandinavians. Don't want conflict. This postulates that extraterrestrial visitors don't want conflict with humans. After all, they have superior technology. They could easily defeat any force Earth could muster, and would have been even easier in the past. Flatwoods Monster In September 1952, three boys said they saw something, a ball of light streaking across the sky. When they went looking for it later that night, they allegedly found a tall figure. It had a round face surrounded by a pointed hood-like structure. It was likely an owl. There is an excellent video going in depth about the Flatwoods Monster and how it was most likely an owl by one of my favorite YouTubers, Trey the Explainer, Kelly Hopkinsville Encounter. On the night of August 21st, 1955, five adults and seven children arrived at their local police station in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. They reported a shootout between residents of a farmhouse and small extraterrestrials coming from a spaceship. It was later determined to be, again, owls, which are easily mistaken during the night by those unfamiliar with them. Bottom of the iceberg, the Black Knight Satellite. The Black Knight Satellite was a thermal blanket that some believe was in fact an artificial spacecraft of extraterrestrial origin. There's another video by Trey the Explainer debunking this one. 2004 in the midst incident. In November of 2004, an object was picked up on radar by the USS Nimitz Strike Group, an unusual aircraft that would appear at around 80,000 feet and rapidly descend, stopping to hover at around 20,000 feet over the ocean. Fighter planes were deployed to investigate, which is how we got this infrared footage. The footage was leaked in 2007, but only deemed official by the Pentagon in 2020. Gimbal Go Fast Footage this footage was shot by the military's USS Theodore Roosevelt Carrier Strike Group on the east coast of the United States in 2014 and 15. Just like with the Nimitz footage, the objects were detected and then recorded, but they remained to be identified. The Phoenix Lights On March 13th in 1997, thousands of people bore witness to lights over Phoenix. There were two distinct events. First, Lights in the formation of a triangle seemed to move over and past the state of Arizona. Second, a series of stationary lights were seen over Phoenix. A cement driver said of this, I'll never be the same. Before this, if anybody had told me they saw a UFO, I would have said, yeah, and I believe in the tooth fairy. Now I've got a whole new view. And I may just be a dumb truck driver, but I've seen something that don't belong here. The lights to me in this footage look like the outline of a large saucer. From flares to balloons as cover stories, to this day, both of the events have no satisfying explanation, especially the first one. It's one of the most interesting possible cases of extraterrestrial phenomena I've heard of. Telepathy. This is the notion that aliens communicate via telepathy instead of speech during abductions. Not so much as they speak using the mind, more so they directly implant the information and ideas they need to convey into the individual's mind. Travis Walton. In November of 1975, Travis Walton, a lumberjack, disappeared for five days. When he was found, he claimed to have been abducted. 
sense of mind or mind control. This is the idea that some aliens have a strong sense of mind and the brain. They have the ability to influence or control people to some degree, in addition to telepathy. John Leonard Walson. John Leonard Walson is an English astrophotographer on YouTube. He has a very powerful setup to watch the night sky. His videos are pretty bizarre, though. He has allegedly been terrorized by the government for his investigations. O'Hare incident. In 2006, at the Chicago O'Hare International Airport, 12 airline employees reported seeing a metallic saucer hovering over the airport. Air traffic controllers allegedly didn't see it, and it didn't show up on the radar. The proposed explanation for this incident is something known as a hole punch cloud, as conditions on that day were supposedly perfect for one. Objective is planet health. There is no denying that UFO sightings have increased significantly in the past decade. This could have a number of reasons. One of the proposed causes is increased surveillance by extraterrestrials, with the goal of monitoring how we as humans affect the planet. The atomic bombings, nuclear testings, and the Cold War has awakened something within them and made them worry about Earth's safety. This might also be why most sightings take place near places of military activity. The Zeta Reticuli Incident Barney and Betty Hill were an interracial couple in 1961, New Hampshire. Interracial couples were unusual at the time, with Barney being black and Betty being white. They were driving back home from a Niagara Falls vacation at around 10.30 at night. Betty claims she witnessed a falling star, only it was moving upwards. It moved erratically and grew brighter, so she had Barney pull over to investigate. They stopped at a scenic area and observed it. Barney realized that it was definitely not a plane or anything they had seen before. They returned to their vehicle and drove slowly, observing the object in the sky as they went. Then the object descended towards their vehicle, which caused Barney to stop in the middle of the otherwise empty highway. He said it reminded him of a huge pancake. He got out of his car and saw eight to eleven humanoid beings in the windows of the craft. One of them communicated to him to stay where he was and to keep looking. He ran back towards his vehicle and attempted to escape at full speed when the spaceship hovered above the car and they heard a series of buzzes and beeps. It is then that they entered an altered state of consciousness. 2019 Triangle UFO Night Vision Footage In 2019, the U.S. Navy caught footage of a triangle-shaped object in night vision. These were also officially confirmed to be real by the Pentagon. It has been rumored that this isn't the only footage of this, and that this is just the least compelling of the moments captured on film. It's said that this has been proven to be out-of-focus footage of an airplane. Alien gray footage. Also called the skinny bob footage is footage of a gray alien from around 1942 to 1969, allegedly leaked by the KGB and posted to YouTube in 2011. With little to no solid information on the origin of the video, some say it's real and some say it's fake. Some have analyzed the footage to tell if it is CGI or an animatronic, and have come to the conclusion it isn't. The deep 2019 spherical UFO footage. In 2019, the crew of the U.S. Navy ship USS Omaha captured footage of a spherical object before it went down under the waves. 2019 radar footage. This refers to radar footage of unidentified objects swarming the Omaha, the same ship from the previous entry. The Manassas Incident The Manassas Incident is the most well-known UFO sighting in Spain, but I haven't heard of it until I started researching for this video, so I imagine it's not well-known here in the States. The Manassas Incident takes place in 1969 Spain. A passenger plane was flying from a stop in Mallorca to Las Palmas. When halfway through the flight, in the dead of night, the pilots noticed red lights approaching their aircraft. The pilots requested information from flight control with no explanation of the phenomenon. The pilots decided to change altitude to avoid a possible collision. However, the lights followed suit, but stayed a distance away. Fearing the worst, the pilots changed course to make an emergency landing. The lights had disappeared just before landing, but three more unidentified objects were picked up by the radar and seen by witnesses. A fighter plane from a nearby airport was sent out to investigate. The pilot, a captain in the Spanish Air Force, described one of the objects as having a truncated cone shape and bright changing colors before it disappeared from sight. 
Another object was detected by radar, so the pilot rushed to find it. When he approached, it too had flew away. Another one appeared, and the captain gave chase for about an hour and a half, heading towards Africa, before he was forced to go home due to fuel. The incident is officially ruled as optical illusions by the Spanish government. Damon Woods Encounter In 1979, Scotland, a man parked his truck and went on a walk with his dog in the woods. There, he says, he saw a flying dome hovering over a clearing. It had a rough metallic texture, like sandpaper, with an outer rim lined with propellers. It is there that three spiked objects tried to coax him into the craft before losing consciousness. He woke up and the objects were gone and his truck wouldn't start, so he walked home with his wife finding him beat and disheveled. His wife called the police and the man took them to the area where the incident occurred. Police recorded it as an assault that day, but it still has not been solved. Genetically engineered humans one of the proposed reasons for alien abductions is to collect eggs and sperm with the objective of creating genetically engineered humans or alien-human hybrids. Could they possibly be doing this to create ambassadors between aliens and humans? We don't know. North Hudson Park UFO Sightings There's an apartment building in New Jersey called Stonehenge. No, not that Stonehenge. Adjacent to North Hudson Park, in 1975, a man was driving along when he saw in the park a round spacecraft hovering over the ground. Allegedly, 10 small hooded figures emerged to dig up soil and return to their ship. The man returned to the site the next day and found the holes. The story was told to ufologists and other witnesses were found. Angels are aliens. There is a theory that all ancient religions and occult organizations are keepers of a knowledge that was once commonly known. Over time, this knowledge became twisted and perverted as it was passed down through the ages. However, the ability to rediscover this knowledge in its true form may still be out there, hidden in our world and throughout the cosmos. There is also a theory that clues to this knowledge are secretly controlled and that correct interpretations by researchers are intentionally avoided for fear of being discredited and ridiculed by their peers. And that brings us to the abyss. Triangulation and Shadow Government Theory I'm sure we'd all like to believe that governments have their citizens in mind when they make decisions, that we as humans have been determining our own fate. But what if we as humans aren't in control of our own governments? There's already the idea that various governments know about extraterrestrials. What if that was taken a step further and governments around the world were secretly in contact with them? What if we took that even further? What if the government is secretly run by extraterrestrials, being replaced without the public's knowledge? What if our human government is being controlled by extraterrestrials and they don't know it? What if our government is taking direct orders from those not of this world? Triangulation works like this. A shrouded entity only communicates with the one in charge. The one in charge communicates with the unwitting last person, thus manipulating them for some benefit to the shrouded entity. Star Ancestors. Star Ancestors is an idea explored in the movie Prometheus by Ridley Scott. It is the idea, theory, that humans are descended from a race of visitors that have been guiding our civilization and development through the ages, that they can be traced using clues left behind by ancient cultures. This is similar to the Angels Are Aliens entry, Extra Dimensional Beings. One of the proposed reasons unidentified flying objects are so advanced and seem to defy physics as we know it is because they reside in the fourth dimension. For those that aren't familiar, dimensions. I'm going to try and explain it in the most simple way I can. Using this video by Giovanni B to help, link in the description. Imagine a point, now imagine another one and draw a line between them. You now have length, which is the first dimension. Add another axis, width, and you have two dimensions. Add another axis, height or depth, and you have the third dimension, our dimension. Now imagine a creature living in a two-dimensional world that cannot perceive the concept of depth. If it tries to, it would only be able to perceive an object in the third dimension as a two-dimensional cross-section. For example, a balloon crossing in a 2D world would look like a hollow circle growing larger than smaller before disappearing. The creature would not be able to perceive the entire balloon. It cannot see the big picture. Now imagine a creature that exists in a dimension above our own. 
the fourth dimension, we would not be able to perceive it entirely. Only glimpses that would make sense to our three-dimensional brains. Future versions of us. This is an extension of extra-dimensional beings and is touched on in the film Interstellar by Christopher Nolan. It theorizes that when we perceive some instances of what we call aliens, they are actually future versions of humans that have mastered the fourth dimension, also sometimes known as duration or time. While they can perceive us completely, we cannot fully perceive them. They are but a cross-section in our 3D space. Seriously, check out the video by Giovanni B to get a full grasp of this concept. As a bonus, I would like to feature my own sighting of a possible UFO. And if you thought I wasn't going to get personal, well, welcome to my channel. One day at night, when I was very young, around 11 or 12, my family and I were on a vacation. We were eating at Denny's, and the restaurant was mostly empty. Very few, if any, other customers were in there, if I remember correctly. I do remember something feeling very off while eating. When we left, I looked above the building and saw what I remember to be lights hovering above the restaurant. I asked my older brother about his recollection of this event, and he remembers it too, though he believes it might be a hot air balloon, but he isn't sure. I'm not sure exactly what it was either, but to this day, I have not eaten at a Denny's since. I can't believe people on the internet don't talk about this footage that has been confirmed real by the U.S. government. Except this guy from Fox News. I mean, seriously. Why is this guy the only person with a decent following to talk about UFOs? Does no one care? What if tomorrow aliens were confirmed to be completely real? The evidence is right there to be discussed and theorized about, literally in black and white. Clear as crystal. Clear as crystal! And that's my alien and UFO sightings iceberg explained. But there is one last thing I want to do. I want you, yes you dear viewer, even if you lost the opening minigame, to leave your experience with an alien encounter in the comments. Who knows, I might even feature it in my follow-up video. So if you want your comment featured in a video, leave your story. Don't have one? Tell me what you think about this video. Just make sure you also leave a like as well. I'm thinking about making my follow-up video after the report about the government's knowledge on this is given to the Senate and released. I'm glad you made it this far in the video. It should definitely be my longest one so far. Don't forget to share this video. Being that this is my longest video, I wanna make sure it does really, really well. This video could literally make or break my channel. So you know what to do. That's it. Make sure you drink some water, stay hydrated, have a good one.